As popes go, he's considered a trailblazer, not afraid to take risks to bring hope to the poor and persecuted. According to the Vatican, that's why Pope Francis is visiting Iraq. It's a historic visit. We are talking about the head of a religious sect that is followed by 20% of the world's population. His visit means a lot. His visit to His Holiness, the top cleric, Grand Ayatollah Ali Sistani, will have a huge impact. That will be just one of several high-profile meetings planned as part of a four-day tour scheduled to begin on Friday. But it's the country's once prosperous minority Christian community that's looking forward to his trip the most especially as they struggled to rebuild churches ransacked and burnt during Daesh's reign of terror. The reconstruction of our church has taken a long time and it will now be capped off with this big event. The work is complete and the Pope can visit the church. It will be like an opening ceremony. Security remains a big concern in the region, despite the defeat of Daesh. Iraq has deployed thousands of troops for special duty during the visit and the Pope has limited his public appearances. Iraqi authorities are also renovating the areas that are part of the pontiff's tour, like the ancient city of Ur in the south of the country. The most important of these projects which we accomplished was laying down completely new roads from Ur to the city of Nazaria. Pope Francis will lead an interfaith ceremony there, referencing the theme of his tour, You Are All Brothers. I come as a pilgrim of peace in search of fraternity, animated by the desire to pray together and to walk together. It's all part of what the Vatican says is an effort to bring comfort to all Iraqis. He's also expected to lead a Christian mass at the stadium in Erbil, despite concerns about COVID-19. Iraqi authorities say they are coordinating with the Vatican to ensure strict safeguards against the spread of the virus. The Vatican says the Pope understands the risks of a public ceremony, but that he's determined to carry out what he considers his duty to bring hope in a time of crisis. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.